In this video, we'll be installing this beautiful bride Stradia 2 seat you see here. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Carmon here. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick installation of this bride seat in my Evo 8. I'm also going to be covering some general tips and best practices when you're installing an aftermarket seat in your car. Let's get started. In general, when installing an aftermarket seat in your car, you're going to need seat brackets. Now, you can always adapt the stock brackets on an aftermarket seat. However, there's going to be some modifications involved, but if you're comfortable with that, feel free to do that. I know I did with the FC and the Evo seats. Um, it wasn't too much work, but if you want an out-of-box solution that's just going to work without any hassle, look into aftermarket seat brackets. It's a good idea to match up the manufacturer of the seat with the manufacturer of the seat bracket. That way, you'll know that the patterns will line up without issue. In cases such as the Evo, it's a popular car, so there's a bunch of seat brackets available from Bride, Sparco, Mercaro, and so forth, so there shouldn't be any issues finding the same manufacturer as the seat. However, in other cars, you could always use universal seat brackets such as Planted and Wedge Engineering. The way these brackets work is they have the same pattern as the floor of your car, however, they have a universal pattern that will adapt to multiple seat manufacturers. Another consideration you want to make is the type of mount you use for the seat. In some cases, seats will accept both bottom and side mounts. Um, you'll just want to look into see what kind of position in uh, the mounts for your specific car will offer. I know in general side mounts will lower the seat a bit further so then that way you won't have any issues uh, with your helmet rubbing on your roof. The last thing you'll need to consider are sliders. Sliders mount in between seats and the seat brackets and it basically allow you to adjust the position of the seat from front to back in your car. In some cases such as this one, the bracket and the slider are one assembly which makes insulation a breeze. So now that you know a little bit more about seat brackets and how to mount a seat in your car, let's get started and get this seat in my Evo. Here's my setup right now. Um, I have a fixed back bride seat for my driver and then uh, this reclining bride is going to be for my passengers just so it'll be easier for them to get in and out. So insulation is super simple. As you can see there's uh, one, two, three, four uh, mountain spots. There's two nuts and then two bolts. Um, I did get some replacement bolts. They were uh, a lot cleaner than the set I already had. I'll link it in the description if you also need some. I'm just going to secure the front with these two nuts. Now I'm not going to tighten them all the way, I just want to get everything started before I do that. The easiest way to get this last bolt in is to remove the center console. There's just two Phillips screws that you'll have to remove and I'll pop right out. Now that they're all in, I'm going to tighten them all down. And there you have it, a brand new reclinable bride in the passenger seat of my Evo. Alright guys, let's try this seat out. Damn, 
That's a comfy fit. So I usually don't really care about what my passengers think or anything like that, but this is pretty sweet how this seat reclines. Um, easy to use, and obviously we have the slide adjustment. So all in all, I'm really impressed and happy with the fitment and as well as the bolster and the aggressiveness of the seat. Um, and as you saw, it took like five minutes to install. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.